Welcome back to my studio. I've been to the Jim and Lapidary Wholesaler Show and I bought some beautiful new crystals. And I want to put fine silver precious metal clay caps on them for my talismans. I got this lovely pink kunzite. Such a sweet shade of pink. some aquamarine and one very pale tourmaline but my most exciting purchase and my biggest splurge was this imperial topaz just gorgeous but the trick to making caps for the crystals or for anything that has to do with precious metal clay like this is to account for the shrinkage and that's been the biggest challenge, and it took me 20 years, but I finally figured out a way how to, how to make a perfect cap. And the first part of my little secret is using fine silver bezel wire. And I wrap it around the crystal, getting it to fit as snugly as possible. nice and snug and then I keep my tools pretty simple just using a sharpie to mark where to cut and I use my flush cutters and the trick with the flush cutters is to get them level because they want to cut at an angle so I need to cut this as straight as possible so that the seam will be flush have to do a bit of fiddling, you know, and keep adjusting it, and um, probably just a little bit of filing here and a little bit of nipping just to, to make sure that it fits, again, perfectly flush so that when I solder it together, it will make a, a good secure seam. And I like doing these combinations of gemstones. This is the pink kunzite with a small aquamarine crystal. I love just the energy of the two stones together. But this particular kunzite, I think I need to do a little bit of trimming there. It's, um, the, it's a little bit long and uh, there's also a bit of a fracture across there. So I'm going to cut that top off using a diamond cutoff wheel and my Fordham tool. I don't submerge the stone when I'm cutting it. I just kind of keep dipping it in water to keep it lubricated. And there I have a nice flush top to, to work with now. And to keep the stones in place, and this won't be permanent, but it'll just hold the stones in place so that I can wrap the bezel wire around it. I'm using a little bit of the Gorilla Super Glue to hold things in place. It'll hold long enough for me to get the bezel wrapped around it and then it will be, um, it'll take a little bit of fiddling with when, once I put the, the cap on. But you can see how using that bezel wire, I, it's easy to get it um, a perfect little fit to go around the, the crystal. And now to solder those seams. Again, I keep things pretty simple. I'm not a master at soldering, so I just use paste solder. This is easy paste solder, so it melts at a pretty low temperature. 
because I'm not doing multiple soldering joints, so I don't need to, to do a lot of different levels of solder. And my little butane torch. And because I don't do a lot of soldering, I don't bother with all of the, the pickling afterwards. I just quench it in regular old water and then file it down or sand it just to get the, the surface a little more flush. And checking again to make sure it's a good fit. And the next part of the, the secret to getting perfect caps is using something called creative paper clay. I discovered this long, long years ago and for, um, for using, I used it as cores for beads, but then I realized that it works amazingly well for making bezels. The creative paper clay doesn't burn up and it doesn't shrink. It's um, so, which makes it absolutely perfect for this. So I sort of form it in the general shape that I want for the cap and then push it through the, the bezel. I want it to push out of the, the end for a little bit so that it hope the, um, it'll hold in place. And then I shape the clay, the paper clay, to the size and shape that I want to for the cap. This will be an exact replica of the, the precious metal clay will get formed over that cap. And it's just perfect. Another thing is to let it dry. Um, if you let it dry, air dry, it tends to shrink quite a bit. And so I, I prefer to put it in the oven at a low temperature. And then there's also, there's a line there that I draw on the, with the Sharpie. And that shows me which is the bottom and the front, which is important when you go to form the cap because otherwise you might make it upside down. Again, just kind of pushing it in there and nudging it and getting it into the shape. Remembering this is going to be exactly the shape of the, the, uh, the cap when it's done. So that's shaping the, the caps, and now the ones in this series are, are ready to be dried in the oven. And the next thing will be forming the precious metal clay over those, so stay tuned. That'll be the next one. <laughs>